What is up guys, welcome to the channel, and today we're starting a new series on my channel. Um, we'll be going over thing we're going over cars today that basically changed the face of GTA 5, either made it better or worse. I'm thinking of making this a list. I mean actually making this a series of like three things, either insignificant e either like cars that were supposed to be like good in GTA 5, but turned out to be like some of the worst vehicles and other things that got screwed up in GTA 5, but hope you guys will all enjoy this list today. But before this video starts, why don't you guys go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the bell icon notified for my future uploads. Anyways, guys, let's get right into the video. Alright, guys, for our first vehicle, we have the Zentorno. Um, the reason why I talk about this a lot, and I'm sure a lot of people can agree at this point, this car literally changed the face of how racing is in GTA 5. It's kind of like brought in. This also, no, it just made racing so much better when they first introduced uh, the Zentorno. With it being released in, or being released on May 13, 2014, 14, just after a few months of GTA 5 being released, this car really changed the face of GTA 5. Like, and this still holds the test of times with some of the one of the best vehicles inside of GTA 5 Online in my standards of vehicles. With it being a price of $725,000 in the Legendary Motorsports, it really just and especially for having like the sleek design on it too. Um, if I remember, I think it's I think it's the Lamborghini Venino or um, I don't remember. I think it's the Venino. Uh, it was a 2013 version. But uh, this changed the face of just racing altogether. With it being one of the with it being one of the fastest cars, actually being the fastest car as of 2014 uh, when it first came out. Um, Literally every race had Zentornos in it. Everybody enjoyed the Zentorno. Literally, this is the go-to car everybody had in GTA 5 going into later, uh, going to a later date of 2014. But this goes go. This goes on to our first car that changed the face of GTA 5, making it one of the best vehicles. I think still probably one of the best vehicles to me, and just everything like that. I think it just made everything so much better in GTA 5. But anyways, guys, let's go into our next thing. Alright guys, I didn't buy this, but the Ruiner 2000 is our next vehicle. Honestly, it changed the face of how honestly GTA, like, it kind of like segued into a lot more vehicles, a lot more flying vehicles. Uh, that's your little bit of a hint right now, you guys will see what vehicle I'm talking about later. Um, this kind of segued into like a bunch of different vehicles. At the time of its release, uh, the Ruiner 2000 was honestly something that was to be desired. Everybody really wanted to try out the Ruiner 2000. And, at the time of when this car first came out, no other cars were like it. This car comes with a parachute, comes with rockets, homing rockets to be exact, comes with a machine gun on it, and other things. You can jump around with it. Like, there's so much attachments to the Ruiner 2000, and everybody thought this was going to be, honestly, probably one of the best vehicles at the time of its release, which, if I remember correctly, it was, yeah, actually, it was released December 13th, 2016. Um, it basically came out, it came in with uh, import and export. But it is so good. It kind of goes on part with uh, a little bit of the Phantom Wedge and the uh, Ramp Buggy. Um, they go. I think it's stored into that garage. But um, look, this vehicle segued into a different chapter of GTA 5. And after its release of coming out in 2016, um, and having a lot more vehicles come after this that actually like destroyed the Rumor 2000. Like we have so much better vehicles. Now, like, we have we have the Deluxe that can fly around, we have the Oppressor Mark II. And, I know I say so much better, but there's been a lot of controversy. If you guys used the, if you guys used the Deluxe or the Oppressor Mark II for, like, personal purposes, not to kill anybody, but to, like, resupply, yeah, then these kind of vehicles would be good for you. But, this kind of changed the face of segueing into a new chapter of GTA 5, and could also make it better, but could also make it worse at the same time. But anyways, guys, let's go into our next vehicle. Alright guys, for a nice vehicle we have the Oppressor Mark II, and honestly, this destroyed GTA 5 for a decent while. I would say now it's starting to get better because of all the new update Rockstar introduced not too long ago, where now you can lock on to the Oppressor Mark IIs and other stuff like that. It makes it a lot, the new update actually makes it a lot better, but you still have all the cancerous Oppressor Mark II people out there. Like, I really like the Oppressor Mark II, I don't officially go out and kill people with it unless I have to. And like, if they kill me, then I'll just bring it out and kill them, and then this cycle kind of repeats itself. But if you use it for, like, a practical purpose, then it's going to be good for you. With this being released in July, or this being released July 14th, 2018, 
I can't believe it's only I can't believe it's only been a year and a half since it's been released. But it's just crazy how much it like either destroyed the game or made it better. In some people's eyes, the Pressure Mark II made it made the game better. In other people's eyes, the game was seen as cancerous once you got all these Pressure Mark II people flying around, just blowing up people for the hell of it. But um if you use it for a practical purpose, this tool can do very good for you. Like I use this a lot for uh, my bunker business. It's uh, or gun running actually to gather guns. Like it gets to places across. You can get across the map in this vehicle in like four minutes, like 13 kilometers or I think it's like I don't know how much miles the entire game is because I have my game in kilometers. But uh, you can travel 13 kilometers in literally um, like four minutes. It's crazy how fast this vehicle is and can get to places you guys want to get quickly. And you might have those cancerous players that like, fly around. Like that's why I normally clear out my session. I'm like if I'm in an uh, online session, like I'm in invite only session right now. But when I'm, in invite, when I'm in an online session, I usually clear the entire session out because you're always going to have those oppressive Mark II people there. And with duplication glitches now, even though you have to wait 5 minutes between getting your oppressive Mark II back after that new update that came out, uh, there's a way around it. You can literally just get duplicates of the oppressive Mark II and keep getting them over and over again outside of your garage. Like, wow, good job, Rocker. You kind of fix it, kind of not. But... You can't really do much about that. You're still gonna have those cancerous players that kill people for the hell of it. And but with the practical use, this car can be very good for you. But anyways, guys, I know there's a quick list of kind of going through that either uh, helped the game out or destroyed it. And I explained a little bit of how each one like either made the game better or destroyed it. But anyways, guys, um, thank you guys for watching the video and stay awesome. Goodbye, everyone.